Big decisions to be made. Election day is tomorrow. Yeah, as of Thursday, Colorado election officials had just received under 1.1 million ballots, about 29% of the voters. Some of the races that we're keeping a close eye on, of course, the U.S. Senate race, Democratic incumbent Michael Bennett running against Republican Joe O'Day, U.S. House District 3 race, Republican incumbent Lauren Boebert against uh, Democrat uh, Adam Frisch, and the governor's race, Jared Polis and Heidi Ganahl. There are lots of important state ballot measures, uh, local ballot measures too, <clears throat> to name a few. Proposition FF, that has to do with school meals, healthy school meals for kids. 121 covers state income tax, decriminalization of psychedelic plants, that's 122. Alcohol and uh, sales and delivery on the ballot in three different propositions. Polls are open until 7 p.m. on Election Day tomorrow. You just need to be in line by then. Election workers will stay there until everyone who's in line by 7 has voted. If you need a ride to the polls, RTD is waiving fees to encourage people to get out and vote. Nine News has a complete voting guide where you can see ahead of time what's on your ballot. You can find that on our Nine News app and on NineNews.com. Election Day isn't a federal holiday, so businesses on Aren't required to close or give their employees time to vote. So this morning we want to hear from you. Should people get the day off of work to vote? Yes, I say yes. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Nine News reporter Jordan Chavez joins us once again. And Jordan, some businesses are giving their employees time off even though they don't have to. Yeah, that's exactly right, Gary and Corey. Good morning to you. At least a few hours anyway is what we're talking about. And the hope is that those employees will use that time to go and head to the polls and vote. Now, one of the businesses doing this is Cerebral Brewing. Its owner acknowledges just how much time can really go into this process. Not just the physical act of going to a polling place or a drop box, but also doing all of that research on the different races and those different initiatives that you guys were we're just mentioning that are on the ballot. Well, the latest numbers we have from the Secretary of State's office show nearly 1.1 million Coloradans have already voted. As of Thursday, we do expect to get an updated count, though, this afternoon. And of course, that includes at least one cerebral employee, Jim McElvenny, who says he wanted to take advantage of the time he was given to go cast his vote because he knows the results will have a pretty big effect for years to come. Cerebral's head brewer, Sean Buckin, says they know how important it is to vote and also how difficult it can be for those employees to find the time. So, um, you know, realizing that our employees live like very active lives and have a lot going on, but still want to take part in this, we just uh, chose to like give them the opportunity to vote essentially on the clock, like, you know, mark that you voted and we pay you for up to two hours for that. So Cerebral's owner says employees can use that paid time off anytime until election day to vote. By the way, though, it is state law that employers give workers at least two hours on election day to head to the polls and vote, guys. I never knew that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, well, that's a good thing. And yeah. And I think this would be a good thing, too. It looks like most people are in favor of having a federal holiday. I vote a full day over two hours any day. Yes, agree. <laughs> I mean, it gives you no excuse, right? Like, you don't have to work. RTD is giving you free rides. You know, yeah. it's really no excuse to get out there and vote. And, well, you know, yeah. um, I don't know if it's going to happen this election, but many elections, a very small minority of people actually go out and vote in this country. Mm -hmm. And so maybe if we had a day off, a federal holiday, it would bring attention to it. And we get more people casting votes. It would allow more time, and I think it would allow more time for people to be engaged with the process outside of just voting, but seeing some of the results that are coming in, seeing some of the messages that are being put out by different candidates, and being able to tune into, of course, your favorite news coverage, Hint My News, <laughs> over here uh, for all your updates, right, guys? Shameless plug, go. I love it. Yeah. Well, speaking of which, Nine News will be with you all through Election Day. NBC's coverage of the national midterm elections start at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. That's on Channel 9. Then here on Channel 20 and 9 News Plus, we'll have live coverage of the local races starting at 7 as the results are coming in. We'll have local updates on Channel 9 throughout the evening leading up to 9 News at 10. Hopefully, uh, many of the uh, races will be wrapped up by then. And, of course, we'll be with you the next morning for reaction and to break down the results.